Good day, mortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm going to be reviewing a holy clothing dress. And I'm also going to be throwing in an epic armory corset belt. Now, I don't know if it's pronounced holy clothing or holly clothing, but since it sounds like most people use holly clothing, I'll just say holly clothing for convenience sake. And holly clothing is a pretty popular medieval renaissance kind of Celtic Viking styled clothing shop and I think they only do feminine clothing although I could be wrong about that and they sell a lot of dresses and a lot of shirts and skirts and pretty much everything they sell is so beautiful whoever is in charge of designing their clothing is brilliant I absolutely love all designs of their clothing and I really wanted a dress that I could wear that had a medieval or kind of Celtic style to it. And I saw this dress called the Amelia Maxi Overdress and I just absolutely fell in love with it. I found it several years ago, but I saw the main Amelia dress and I think it was like 80 bucks. And I was like, oh my God, I can't afford that right now. That's way too expensive for me. And that seems to be a misunderstanding that a lot of people have. They see like the most popular dresses or whatever and they'll see that it's really expensive and so they can't afford something that expensive but the truth is if you see it like the amelia dress that's like 80 dollars that's not for the amelia overdress that's for the amelia overdress and the chemis underneath plus they pretty much always have a sale going on to the point where i don't even think the original prices are the real prices i think their sale prices are their real prices because you can literally get a sale every single day so during their black friday sale they had like 25 percent off plus free shipping so i ended up buying this dress only the overdress for $37.50. That's not expensive at all. It's actually very cheap for an entire dress. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and show off the dress. All right, guys, here is the dress just by itself. This dress is definitely not meant to be worn by itself. You definitely should probably wear some sort of belt or corset over it. And this style of dress is just so beautiful. I love it so much. I love this lace up down the front and all of their clothing is hand dyed. So I don't know if you can see it very well, but it has almost this kind of marbled tie dye looking effect. So it leaves this really gorgeous dark green color with some variations in the fabric. And the fabric is extremely soft. It feels kind of like a nightgown and it is really thin. So it is comfortable, but I could see it wrinkling easily. I've seen a lot of reviews where the pictures that they take of their dress is extremely wrinkly. I don't know why they don't iron it before reviewing it. I did not iron this before I put it on, but I didn't really feel like I needed to because it's barely wrinkly. But this dress by itself is really big for me. I ordered it in a size small. My chest right now is probably about a size 30 to 32A. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, reveal myself a little bit. But if I kind of tug at this just a little bit you can see my bra and it doesn't do it so badly when i'm wearing a corset or belt but just keep in mind that it is a bit baggy and i'm pretty sure small was the smallest size that they go in i didn't see them selling any extra small i probably could have asked for like a custom order or something but i didn't feel like doing that so i will probably end up just safety pinning it or doing a little hemming on the straps there so that it fits me better i'll go ahead and show you what the back looks like hopefully you can hear me okay but here's the back it has this sort of lace up let me tighten it up a bit there we go and that's honestly not really tight enough for me just because this thing is so big on me i probably need to tighten it all the way <laughs> yeah so that looks kind of horrible in the back right now but it does look a little bit better in the front. I think if it actually fit me perfectly, it would look a lot better. But like I said, when I wear a belt, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, I wanna go ahead and show you the bottom of this dress too, so I'm gonna have to angle the camera just a bit. All right, there we go. You like my little slippers? So this is actually a really good length for me. I am about five foot three, and I did order the like standard 
height. If you are anywhere taller than five foot three, I definitely would recommend you getting the longer length dress. But I think this is good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera back up. All right, I'll go ahead and put on a normal belt around my waist, just so y'all can see what it looks like. And this is just a normal like Walmart belt, nothing special or anything. All right, there we go. Here it is with a regular belt on. And I think this dress looks so good like this. I would probably wear it out like this to like a normal non-LARP occasion, like for Christmas or something. Uh, I might wear this dress and this belt. It's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. And especially for $37.50. It's fantastic. This dress took a really long time to get to me. I think I ended up getting it around seven weeks after I bought it. I did buy it during their Black Friday sale, so it was close to Christmas time. So they were pretty busy, but still, just so you know that if you order this or anything from their store, it is probably going to take it a long time for it to get to you because they do completely hand make and hand dye their clothing and they're kind of a popular store, so. All right, now I wanna go ahead and move on to the Epic Armory corset belt. Now this is part of their Dark Elf collection. This is the Dark Elf corset belt in the color brown. And it is so beautiful. I love the design of this. I love the design of all of their Dark Elf stuff. And this was already on sale, plus I bought it during their um, Black Friday sale. And I did buy it from the Medieval Collectibles website, which ended up being cheaper than the Epic Armory website for some reason. But I think I ended up paying like 60 to $70 after shipping for this. And they have discontinued this, so they might still have some left. I'm not really sure. But I know that they still have some of this left in different colors. And it is made out of real leather. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. And I do that by wrapping it around. And I'm going to lace it up on the side here. All right, there we go. I have put it on now. Not gonna lie, it was kind of a pain in the butt to lace it all up. Well, I just did kind of a standard lace up, didn't even tie a knot or anything. But yeah, here is what this gorgeous corset looks like. Now this was in a size small and it was the smallest size that they were selling. And I couldn't get a custom size because the, this was discontinued. So it is a little big. Um, if you look at this from the side here, this back part, which first of all is really beautiful i love this like lace up in the back there you could probably put this in the front if you really wanted to as well but this part back here does not even touch my back so it honestly makes me look bigger than i actually am and that's kind of uh the opposite of what a corset should do. It should not make you look bigger than you actually are. It should tighten you up. Luckily, I'm already underweight, but uh, that is one thing that, that really bugs me is that it kind of just goes straight down instead of curving with my back. I don't know if it's just because it's too big or if that's just a flaw in the design, but yeah, it is not as flattering as it should be if it was completely hugging my spine it would look a lot better and i don't know if this front part should be right underneath my breasts the models and the pictures on the website did have it like that like their breasts were pretty much touching this part right here but mine doesn't fit me that way so I'm just going to wear it like this. And the shape of the sides is a little awkward as well. Again, I don't know if it's just because it doesn't fit me perfectly or not, but um, yeah, it just doesn't hug me the way that it should. But besides that, besides the fact that it doesn't really fit me that well, it's just a bit too big. Uh, I think this corset is really gorgeous 
and I think it's a great price for what it is. I think if it fit me perfectly, then it would just be absolutely stunning on me. The leather is really, really thick. I actually think the leather might be a little too thick. Maybe not too thick, but uh, maybe just slightly too stiff. I could probably soften it a little bit with some water, but I think it just has such a gorgeous and unique style to it. And I bought it specifically to go with this dress. So I want you to tell me what you think of it. Does it look good? Does this corset look good with this dress? Do you think it would look better on a different outfit? Do you think the other belt looks better? The smaller belt? This corset does have kind of a almost warrior-esque look to it. So it might be a little bit too warrior-esque for this dress, but I don't know. I think it looks really good. I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if it fit me perfectly. Same with the dress. Um, I think if the dress fit me perfectly as well, it would be pretty much perfect. I think the corset belt might be a little bit overwhelming for like a regular Christmas party, but it would be nice for like a special occasion where it's like a medieval or Viking or, you know, Renaissance styled banquet or whatever. <laughs> or if I just feel like going out looking a little bit more pretty and elegant to a festival or event, I can wear this really gorgeous corset with it. So let me know what you guys think of this really gorgeous holly clothing dress and this epic armory corset belt. I hope this video was helpful to some of you out there who are looking to buy these products. And thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video.